Hey, welcome back to the show. Today is December 12th, 2017. In this week's news, we have uh, Intrepid that has announced that it's going to come out with an uh, enlarger that goes to attach to your 4x5 back. So it's one of those graph lock enlargers. Uh, Graphlex had one, Linhoff had one, and some others have had one. But this is going to be a bit of a new concept, a uh, mix between new technology and old technology. You can hear a bit more about it on the video I released yesterday about the Q&A from Intrepid um, cameras. And I will be releasing more information in behind the scenes of the actual prototype on the proper video when I post that. So I'll keep you guys um, updated. Also, there's an update from Labbox, which basically has the new uh, shipping details, um, when they're going to start, you know, doing the mold, uh, not the molding, I guess, pressing the pieces or injecting the pieces, um, assembling the lab box and a few little modifications uh, they did. If you're actually a backer from lab box or you have bought one on the pre-store or pre-sale store, you might want to be interested in seeing how they're handling things. But the date of deliveries passed, I think, around March 2018, which is a little behind, but they've been trying to make the best product possible. In the Kickstarter news, we also have Reflex, who has made it. Finally, um, their campaign has finished. They're fully funded. So the Reflex camera is going to start getting done. Um, if you want to check it out, you might want to subscribe just in case when they do release the camera in the market, you're one of those people that don't want to take a risk on Kickstarter you might want to follow along. I will be checking on them, seeing how they're doing with their updates and giving you guys um, the news when they actually release the model, what the real price point will be in the market and such. One Kickstarter that didn't make it, and I usually don't talk about this, but I think it's meant worth mentioning, is the Elbaflix didn't make it. They were around halfway through their goal and the campaign finished. I think it had a lot to do with the whole fact that it looked a lot like the kf 19 m uh, without a light meter and a lot of people didn't like that. I hope to see that they, you know, continue with the project and it does come out in the future, even without the Kickstarter. Maybe they re-design um, the camera again and refocus it from another perspective and come back because it's sad to see that an actual newish film camera is not going to make it in the market when we are all always talking about how we need more cameras. Talking about old gear and new brands, uh, Nikon is going to be fixing your old or vintage gear and this is going to be done for a limited time. If you send your camera to Japan for a small fee, they will be fixing your cameras. The news and the link is from Petapixel because they translated to English. The real article is in Japanese, so I can't really help you much, guys. I don't know up to when they will fix your gear and what the price will be, but it's worth mentioning that this is not uh, something that comes every day. So if you do have a Nikon camera that requires a proper uh, CLA, a clean lube adjust, I recommend at least sending it over. It's probably really cool to have your camera serviced by Nikon even though it could be 20 or 30 years old. Also from the makers from uh, the lab box RZ Mago, which is a store in Italy, um, they've come out with a book which basically has all kinds of tricks about lenses, exposure, depth of field and such. So if you're new to film and you find that maybe YouTube's not enough or maybe the books you have in are not enough, this is a new book that should help new people, maybe not so new people, into learning some concepts that are not so easy to learn on your own. So check it out. It's uh, the link to their website. I think they're priced around $15 to $20. So it's not too expensive. And if I do get a copy, I'll make a little review of it. Also, I've been talking about ham cameras. And uh, ham camera is basically a box camera, kind of like the brownie and they're trying to relaunch a uh, brownie style camera, but with upgrades. Uh, they were gonna upgrade the lens, they were gonna upgrade the film backs, they were gonna do such uh, so many things. There's, uh, I linked to the Facebook, they have a video that they uploaded, I haven't had the chance to look, but supposedly they're sharing images of their first prototypes. So if you're interested in those, you know, boxy, brownie kind of cameras, hand camera is the project to check on. Also, we have news from Adox, and uh, they've come out with a uh, new chemical called Adotech 4, and it's supposedly specially used for their ultra fine grain and resolution film. 
I think it's CMS uh, 20, which is an ISO 20 film. And um, there's not much details on the website. This is coming from Facebook. But if you're one of those people that uses the technical film, supposedly it's much better. There's a bit more latitude, which is all we know. So yeah, that's all for this week's news. If you guys have any information, please send me an email to the email below. See you next week.